welcome back to the shop. Um, this is a little bit of a different video. Um, when I started this channel, the mini lathe was the hot hobby that everybody was into and asking questions, emailing me. Nowadays, it's um, the 3018 CNC and upgrading it to a laser. So I did a video on the 3018. I think it was a three-part series wiring and software and so on and then I did another video on the laser upgrade and how to do that uh, as a result I've, I've done hundreds of emails here helping people get their laser up and running um, and it's pretty difficult because you're going back and forth in the emails trying to figure out what's going on the last one the guy finally gave me a hint in the email he had the classic problem of the laser comes on full power and you can't turn it off. He was describing it differently though. So, so I decided to do this video so I can just point people at it and you'll be able to solve the problem. So I hope you guys enjoy. Hope it helps out. Okay, like I said, I've helped hundreds of people here with the 3018 laser upgrade and you're suffering from one of two problems either you can't get the laser to come on or when you apply power the laser comes on full power and you can't get it to turn off now for this discussion i'm talking about the uh, 5500 uh, milliwatt or whatever laser um, all there's tons of different lasers out there this will should apply to everything i i have yet to find one combination of a laser and a machine that i can't get to work so um let's start with you can't get the laser to come on that one is pretty simple um there's lots of different revision boards this is a very very old 3018 control board this one was popular about a year ago or so, but uh, same way with the laser. This is an older generation laser. The newer generation has a power switch on it, but um, also note there's different colors for these plugs and connectors. And for this particular one, this connector should not have been red and it should not have been supplied with a red cable. It should have been white, but um, what you got to do, it's very simple. It's usually always just miswired. They ship the wrong thing with whatever. Look at the writing on the board here. <clears throat> the silk screen, it's white. It says, this particular one says plus 12 PWM ground. I always see the ground and PWM switched. So look at the silk screen here. Color codes can be anything. Typically, red is power, black is ground, white is the PWM signal. Look at your board. Uh, this particular board, same thing. Ground, PWM, plus 12. Make sure the signals hit the right pins. It's always been two or switched. And then as soon as they figure that out and switch it back, pull the lasers working. If you're trying to send GRBL commands manually directly to the laser to get it to come on, it doesn't work. I, I tried it and there's some hidden code. I just didn't bother figuring out what the combination is to get the laser to fire. <clears throat> this is why I say go get the trial version of Lightburn set it up for my video um, hit the fire button 40 percent power it will come on um, so that's probably all i can say about that um, previous generation the newer generation board i have on my machine i'm not going to take it off but there's two plugs for the laser one's red and one's white so now that's all there is to the situation where you can't get it to come on. The other situation is you hit the power button and boom, the laser's on full power. Um, 
I've never seen that with the older generations. It's just the newer generation. So to solve that problem, why is it coming on full strength? It's, um, like I said, lots of different control boards. There's cam, tool, woodpecker, ton of different revisions out there. Let me move this further out of the way. So, yeah, there's one, here's the other. This is the woodpecker schematic of the whole thing. I've zoomed in on the driver circuit here, which I'll show in a minute. This is the cam tool schematic, and I zoomed in on the driver circuit down here. So, if you have, uh, well, I guess I'll show the other one first. This is, uh, uh, which one did I say was what? Uh, I think this is the cam tool, whatever one it is, but the difference is the older generation board has one plug right there for the laser. This is the older generation, there's only one plug for the laser. And it's driven by pulling the PWM signal down through this. This is the main signal here, turns this guy on and it just pulses, pulling it down. The laser's got a pull-up resistor on this signal on its end. The newer generation board has two plugs. One plug, which is, should be the white plug, is for the older laser. It pulls the signal down. The other plug is red, and this signal is coming directly from the uh, PWM microcontroller, and it pulls the signal up. So if your laser comes on full power, you're in the wrong plug, or you have an older board, and you need to get a newer board. So that one too, I've never seen the wiring wrong or switched on it. Oh yeah, on removing the pin too, if your thing is switched. Some of them you just have to push down the little tab. You can see it under a magnifying glass and the connector comes out. Some of them, there's a plastic little flip thing that you have to lip, lift up and the connector comes out. But full power, you're in this circuit with a newer generation. The newer generation's easy to identify. It has a power switch. You push it in, power's on, laser's full power. Um, so as soon as you switch it to the other plug, it will work suddenly. Um, or you have to go on eBay, Amazon, somebody find a board which has got the two uh, plugs for the laser because one of them is, is going to be for your new generation laser. So I uh, hope that solves everybody's problem.